You ever have one of those moments when you think, hmm, I probably should have asked my wife before I went and bought this off a of marketplace? But you don't, because you knew what the answer was going to be. But now as I sit here in my driveway thinking, is she going to be mad? Yep, there she is. Oh, no. Nope, take it back. Nope. I'm definitely in trouble. If you guys are in the market for a 67 to 72 GM truck bed, look no further. I found this sweet unit off a of marketplace for $150. It is a truck bed trailer, but it doesn't matter to me. This truck bed is in better shape than most of them that would still be on a truck because it was probably only used four or five times a year. Cool thing was, I didn't need four buddies to help me load this off onto my trailer. I just backed my pickup up to it and drug it home. A lot of times people don't put a lot of value in these truck bed trailers because they don't know what they have. This gentleman was listing it as a 1964 Chevy pickup bed. But his lack of knowledge was my win. New truck beds run anywhere from $2,500 to $3,000 if you're buying reproduction. For $150, I've got this. Now I just need some buddies to help lift it off of the trailer frame, and then I can sell the frame. If I can get $100, even $150 back on the frame, I got this truck bed for free. I mean, talk about a score. Another thing to consider is just keeping this as a truck bed trailer. This is way way cheaper than going to Lowe's and buying a 4x8 or a 5x10. Those can cost you upwards of $1,000 to $1,500, and a lot of times you're just getting 13-inch wheels and tires. With this, you're getting 15-inch wheels and tires and a way better payload. Some things you might want to look at, though, is ensuring that your tires and wheels are good. Does it have trailer lights that actually work? Do you have safety chains and a good hitch? Is the rear end good? A lot of times people will take certain parts or certain gears out of these when they turn them in to be trailers. But we do need to make sure there still is some gear oil back there to keep what parts are left still lubricated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the bed. I'm gonna take it off the frame, try to sell the trailer frame on its own to get my money back out of it. I'll clean this up, wash it down, and I'll use my cousin and I's secret recipe of shine juice to go through and pull a lot of this patina out. It should look pretty awesome and it'll hopefully allow me to get more money out of the bed itself or I might just hang on to it until we find another truck that we could use it on. So I've got my right hand woman here to, right, left hand. Right hand woman here helping me this morning. So we're gonna go through and try something a little different. I talked about putting my shine juice on here, but I think I'm actually gonna go through and put a, cut, a coat of wax on here and then put the shine juice on to see how that turns out. Maybe good, maybe terrible, but we'll see how it works. Dad, I don't want to be here. This is boring. It's just that, you talking. That just means she's ready to start working. Wow. Yes. So what we're going to use this morning is just my Meguiar's cleaner wax. This works really good. I mean, especially for how cheap it is. I'll put a link in the description below. If you are interested, you can pick some of this up off of Amazon or wherever you like to buy it. So here's kind of a close-up of what the paint looks like before we get the first coat of wax on. I'll give you another shot once we get a coat of wax on and then when we get to the shine juice. Are you ready? Yes! Yowzers. All right, we'll drag over. There you go. I'm gonna start waxing.
So we've got the first coat of wax on, and I think that turned out pretty good. I mean, there's quite a bit of sheen for 50 plus year old paint for just one coat of wax. But I'm still gonna go through and put a coat of shine juice on, just kind of as an experiment. See if it, you know, top coats any better, brings any of that old rust or patina back out. So now it's time to go through and put the shine juice on. First thing you need to do is make sure you take the safety precautions and put on rubber gloves. These are chemicals, they do stink, so I'd, I'd recommend that you do it if you remember to. Now, this is a pretty easy recipe to make. My cousin and I, Garrett, my partner in crime in these old trucks, we've put this on several of our old vehicles, it is a temporary clear coat. You know, if it's too shiny or we don't like the finish, we can go through and just get some soap and water and take it back off. If not, we'll just let mother nature wear it off and add more coats as needed. So it's pretty easy recipe. One part mineral spirits to three parts boiled linseed oil. It is important that you get boiled linseed oil because for some reason that makes a difference. So let's get started. So I've got the shine juice on and it turned out pretty good. I don't know that there's really any big benefit of putting wax on to get a little more shine prior to the shine juice. It's probably actually counterproductive because the wax is a protectant and then when I put the liquid on it, it kind of wants to repel it. Still looks great. Uh, I just probably wouldn't waste the extra time to wax it prior to the shine juice. So here's a close up of the shine juice. I think it turned out really well. This is just a nice way that you can go through and put a protective top coat on without spending the thousand plus dollars to clear coat your old patina. If it's too much, once you get this done, just a little soap and water, start scrubbing it back off. It is just some oil. Quick disclaimer, what to do with your shine juice rags when you're done? Remember, these are extremely flammable. Me, I just throw them on the driveway rocks, light them on fire, let them burn up. Fire! That way I don't run a risk of catching my trash can on fire or my house. You just wanna make sure you're disposing of them properly. That way you don't have any uh-ohs. So it's not like I overdo anything, but I overdo everything. So why is it important for me to paint these wheels? It's not, but it just makes me feel better whoever buys this trailer frame that they're gonna have some shiny wheels when they're done. I don't know, I have a problem. So now I've given you a lot of options. Well, if you decide to keep it, would you rather have a nice, black, shiny new trailer? Cost you a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars? Or would you like one of these hundred and fifty dollar beauties sitting in the drive that all your neighbors are jealous of? I'd probably think about asking your wife her opinion too. So hopefully after watching this video, you understand that these truck bed trailers do have value. You know, for $150, it's a great five by eight trailer that you can use. If not, pay attention to the beds. If you are looking for that 67 to 72 C10 long bed, this is a great option because again, these beds aren't used but a few times a year. So you might have great potential peeling one of these beds off of the trailers. Type down in the comments if you guys have truck bed trailers or if you've had any success of finding the bed you're looking for to put on your pickups. Stick around for my next cheap tips and tricks. Who knows what I'll have next. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.